the first assignment you already know this website courses.metastudio.org so the first assignment is called oral history so when you go to oral history here so the first one is introduction and objectives so you can read the introduction and objectives just to have an idea why oral history is important and also there are certain links like where you can read about oral history where others have worked with oral history so we would like the students to go and interview one elderly person can be female can be male so uh, we have provided a sample questionnaire the students may follow it or they can come up with their own questions depends on them there are different kinds of questions some are based upon the how the so the society was say 50 years back only when I mean, we can only find it out by asking somebody who was there 50 years back right so so there are questions like uh, you know were there was there proper roads in our village at that point in time then you have questions on the economic condition it's not like we want to find out about that person's economic condition let's be very clear about that but the general condition like uh, was agricultural situation better at that time was production better or how it has you know progressed we just want them to interact with the person and uh, get the information but not like intimate them so this is a questionnaire so first a brief introduction about the person where they have lived profession any important incidents or events related to the independence time so we would like that that is why we would like the person to be at least 70 years old so then are the questions on electricity schools colleges the environment as well so what do they think do they think that you know the green cover has gone down in their village there is no uh, fixed uh, set of questionnaire for this interview i mean we can create our own or is it just we can we should follow um but we would like you to at least base your questions on this sample questionnaire because we have made you know different divisions also like environment social life political uh, not political economic life so you can base it on that i mean so yes some questions to be addressed then you can add them that is not a problem at all so once the interview is done the idea here is to audio record it so uh, they can just record it on their phone so there is a little instruction like you know first you should just check that the audio recording is working properly uh, and you know how to audio record it and uh, the other one is when you're taking the interview please make sure that you don't doing it in a very noisy place you can you come back you're going to transfer the file what do you need what we want the students to do is you want them to listen to the interview and they need to do it a couple of times so that because might be you know some word is not clear or something and then they write it out so that is transcribe in on a paper also this assignment has two sections one is the field part and the other is the lab part like most of the assignments are divided like that so once that is done so one part of the assignment is done then comes the other part where the audio clip has to be edited then you come to the lab you transfer your files you do the transcribing and you start typing it out and then you audio edit it so audio editing is done using a program called the audacity this is the interface you can just find it out find out audacity okay, another thing that i want to add is that uh, this is a group work a group of about 5 to 10 students depending on how many students you have in your college or otherwise you make groups such that i mean at least in each group, group there should be one at least one or two people have mobile phones which are capable of recording sound so the device problem gets solved in this way and also uh, the, these groups once you make these groups these will continue for other assignments as well most of the assignments are group assignments i think it will be better if you fix the groups in the beginning itself if you have uh, let's say 50 computers mm. and uh, like uh, 200 students so ideally you should have four batches mm. and uh, in each batch i mean you can have 10 uh, uh, in groups. each batch you can have five groups of 10 students each so 50 students uh, so let us say the student has recorded for half an hour okay then each student needs only 4 5 minutes of audio clip for completing their assignment you know 4 minutes means lot of text so therefore uh, 
that is good enough for him to practice uh, both the local language as well as typing as well as transcribing. So we don't want all the students to do all the 30 minutes. Makes no, no sense. So you have to understand the situation and then immediately take interesting decisions right there. Okay, I'll show you a small clip. I mean, which uh, we had recorded one of the older which students trips. recorded actually. I mean, this is a video clip for uh, this from Ambar uh, College. This is in Marathi. In the Janma Kadi Zala. So I remember you could say Cheta Ambar. But to me, the person Kadi Pusam Raila. Lagna Zala Pusam is Raila. Put like Ambrati. Say, sang it to keep to me part which she killed. प्रदूषण <laughs> होते <laughs> <laughs> पूर्वी टाइम चेंज सुरू होता ना सारे ना आता है आता साह महीने पाउस पड़ रहा तो कई इसने ठंडी जस्त उन जस्त ऐसा बदल पड़ रहे हैं जस्त झाड़ी मना जंगलों मना पहले झाड़ी भरपूर होती आता का जंगलों रहे आता नहीं आता लाकड़ा तोड़े साथी लोग धार तोड़ते पर झाड़ लावे चे करे चे मतों � बाय मन से कुछ समस्या हो जाते तुम्हारा बोली में देखे फरक आएगा आई तो इंग्लिश में देखे बोलो नहीं जब पहले शुद्ध मराठी होती या तो इंग्लिश हिंदी लंबोला ने दूसरी बातें शुरू करा आस्तमा आओ तुम्हारा बरों तुम मान सांगा कि संदर्भ आंतर जातीय बदल तुम तक काय होता है आंतर मान काय होता है विरोध and also it's not like only one person has to audio record it if there are six people and they all have phones which can do good audio recording they can all record it so so that at least then we have a backup so people will tend to answer in yes or, yes or no hmm. so that is to be avoided actually usually i mean everybody who has a mobile phone will know how to transfer it the files to the system but in case they don't know it i mean you will have to help them in that also when the students present a group of students presents all their uh, findings then they start understanding something about the nature of life in that place 50 years ago they compare the things said by different people and you might find you know a pattern emerging or contradictions emerging so all this makes the students speculate think about the social events of that place so now what we do is we go and edit the audio clip so everybody uh, has they have you have opened the audacity window i'm just showing an example so this is how we open a file in audacity and uh, so so you can do a lot of different kinds of editing on this using this program why don't you create a file right now you can because you have a recorder and there is a record button there is a right in red color so if you click that you'll get a clip immediately yeah this is the record button so now it is recording so what are we recording speak something yes speak something yes yes so why don't we do it like this i don't you actually do some role playing so you can be the student and you know you can ask the question i mean you can be the elderly person or whatever whichever way you want to do it can we please do that everybody you have the questionnaire right okay so what's your name my name dr ajay kumar gupta from where are you i am from jabalpur abhi yahan par jis area mein rehti hain aap hame batayenge ki us area mein pehle purane zamane mein kya condition thi aur aaj kya condition hai um जहाँ मैं रहती हूँ एरिया का नाम है चीता कैम्प ये बी के नज़दीक एक इलाका है जहाँ पर पहले आबादी नहीं थी वहाँ पे जो मिलिट्री के लोग थे जो जिनका डेथ हो जाता था वहाँ पे उनको मतलब जलाया जाता था बट अब जो सिनेरियो है वहाँ पे लोगों की एजुकेशन से रिलेटेड वो बहुत इम्प्रूव हुआ है इटा बहुत बहुत किसी तो बदल नहीं कि प्लांट एरिया हिसाब से जगह बहुत बेसिक ग्रीन हो जाए 
बहुत गच्छ पत्र लगे एवं प्लांट एरिया भितर तेणु जगह बहुत गोटे भल सुंदर हो जाए जगह आ खेल पड़िया जगह बहुत इम्प्रुव हो आम तो बहुत छोट छोट पार्क खेल बड़ बड़ खेल पड़िया हो जाए सो आर वि रेडी विदिंग Yes, yes. So once you are done with the recording, you have to. So instead of saving, you have to export it. I'll tell you why. Because uh, from here, see, this gives you the option. So exporting is better because if you save it, it will save it in a format which only Audacity can open. So it's better if you export it in a format which you later want to use it. So these are the options it gives you. I have recorded the interview on the phone with you. और उसको कनेक्ट करके इसके अंदर डाला तो ऑडेसिटी उसको एक्सेप्ट नहीं कर रहा वो डॉट थ्री जी ए है सी वेन यू मेक ए टेक्स्ट फाइल ओके वेन यू सेव इट वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ द फॉर्मेट ऑफ द टेक्स्ट फाइल डॉट टी एक्स टी फॉर टेक्स्ट फाइल इफ यू सेव इट फ्रॉम लेटेस्ट से लिब्रे ऑफिस यूल गेट अनदर एक्सटेंशन कॉल्ड ओ डी टी इफ यू डू इट इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वर्ड it will put you doc doc document just like that there are multiple text formats there are multiple audio formats also some of them are good some of them are bad okay what are bad if the format is proprietary it's bad you have to understand what is called open standards there are some standards which are open for the sound the best format is ogg so when you save it from the audacity you save it as ogg format assume that you have recorded something on your uh, mobile phone don't expect that it will be in ogg format but then when they come to your desktop okay you'll be able to either work with that file directly in audacity or you can convert it uh, that into other formats also okay now one of the reasons why ogg is good is because ogg is just fit for the web If you have a OGG file online, if you click on that audio file, the browser will start playing it. You don't even need an audio player. Why? Because it is so such a open standard that everybody knows how to decode it. We have understood the uh, one is that requirement. Why we should require it and what it should ultimately going to give them. Uh, the, the that is what we understand. The process. If somebody is not able to understand here it right now, also a couple of practices. practices will make him or her quite perfect okay, so like i said you have to listen to the recording a number of times and then they have to figure out which are the portions they need to delete so for that you have to listen to the recording a number of times you have to recognize the place where that is like within which second or something then we have to select that area so suppose it's between mm, 5 and 10 so we select it okay and then what we do we go to this and then cut so it's gone when you are selecting text you see the text very clearly right whereas when you are looking at the audio file like this you don't hear the audio just by looking at the waveform that is the reason why when you are selecting the text play the file so while the, the audio is being played you can do the in point and then the out point and then you know exactly which area is selected however there are certain indications that you can see in the audio file a lot of sound actually goes in the waveform is so big and if there is silence you will notice it very clearly and if you don't want that long silence then you can automatically go and you know select that area visually itself and then cut it sometimes what happens once you get used to it as a good audio editor you will come to know just by looking at the audio format this is very noisy so you can conveniently go and visually look at that area and then cut it you have all such tricks that you can play in this particular audio editor audacity ka ek gun hai filtering karna jaise is room mein ac chal rahi hai lekin hum aap logon ka jo recording kar rahe hain isko clean karne ke liye suresh shayad kuch use kar raha hai abhi रिकॉर्डिंग के वक्त ही यूज कर रहे हैं लेकिन ये आप लोग बाद में ऑडासिटी में भी कर सकते हैं जैसे कि हमको बताया है कि एसी जो हम है वो लो फ्रीक्वेंसी में ज्यादा है वो तो उसको निकाल सकते हैं रिकॉर्डिंग के टाइम पे आप अच्छी क्वालिटी की कोशिश करें तो आगे चल के आपको रिपेयरिंग करने का काम कम होगा
Sometimes we do mixing with voice, uh, like uh, music. Uh, can we do uh, this type of experiment uh, in interview also? Definitely. Suppose, uh, you know, the elderly person wants to sing a song which they used to sing some 50 years back. One of the experience with Talasari was that like many of the students became DJs. Yes. So they, they started making their own uh, CDs and giving mm. it to people after remixing themselves. So from a song they would uh, cut out a clip and make a ringtone for their mobile phone. That was another major thing. And they, this we did not teach them by the way. Yeah. This we did not teach them explicitly. The students on their own. So this is like peer-to-peer -peer learning. Exactly. One person knows it and the next day everybody in the class knows it. See, what happens sometimes is when you are recording, if you don't see much action in the audacity, that essentially means that the input sound doesn't have enough volume. Okay. So, how do you correct that? So, this is my new file and I click on input. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, as you could see, that's not enough. That means it is recording at a very low input. One reason could be that the speaker is very far and the microphone is not close to it. Okay, that is also very clear. So let me go close to the microphone and say that again. Hello, 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 hello. Can you see the difference? You can make out just from the visual that the sound is, you know, more or less. Now I can play that. I would say this is not enough. If you have that kind of problem, what you should do is, you should go to this icon here. When you click on that sound icon, you will see something called sound settings. Then you get this menu. So, there you see output settings and input settings. So, microphone is input setting. You should go and look at the input part of it. Input volume is almost set to the maximum here. This machine, for example, has two inputs. You can see there are two hardware inputs. So, the internal microphone is very low right now. That's the one that we are going to change. And now, if I am recording it, you will see more difference. Hello, 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 hello. You can see a lot of improvement. I'm also very far from the microphone, but still you'll be able to understand that. Thing. Just in case the internal microphone of your computer is not very good, then take this. Okay. Most mobile phones have a single jack. So you can actually use when you're recording Instead of using the mobile's uh, uh, phone microphone, you could actually use this microphone. Okay, so before you go and hit on recording the actual interview, please do all these experiments. Find out which one is best. So, uh, if you want to listen to the same recording in order to find out where the faults are, you need to do loop play. That is, the, the record will be played again and again. So, how do you do that? So you select the portion. It will go on playing the same record. Yeah, so this is the one that is very useful for oral history. However, remember one thing, the students are not going to have enough amount of lab time. They will have maximum one and a half hour session and maybe twice a week. So that is not enough for them. To, for example, transcribe an audio file while they are sitting on the computer. So, in which case it is good to carry that file with them on their mobile. You can copy that file to multiple people. Then they can keep listening to that file and then transcribe it on paper. Then that audio is going to be converted into text. And now that text is going to be converted into a computer text. So, now look at the number of things that we are doing. We are doing first audio recording. Something is already digitized, but then that digital format of the file is an audio file. We have to write on a piece of paper about what is being said. That is also a file, but this file is an analog file, not a digital file. 
So now you have to convert that into a digital file and that you will do while you type it. So understanding this entire workflow is very important uh, activity you have. So once we are done with the editing of the audio clip, all the files created for this assignment, like the typed uh, uh, interview, the audio clip, everything has to be uploaded in studio dot this. Right, right now, we will create groups for each of the colleges and then the students, they will register in that particular group and upload their files. So what we would also like is if they can upload both the clips as in the edited one and the uncut one so that we know what all edits they did. And also if it's uh, possible if the students take a photo with the person they interviewed that would also be nice so that you know it gives a nice picture of, uh, of their interaction, interaction and if later on some uh, scholars or anybody want to use that piece of information, the oral history interview, that would really give them a nice uh, view. जब हम लोग मोबाइल में रिकॉर्ड करते हैं तो ओडा सिटी में वो एक्सेप्ट नहीं करता है यानी फाइल ओपन नहीं करता है या इंपोर्ट भी नहीं करता है वो एक प्रॉब्लम बहुत बार आता है समटाइम्स व्हाट हैपेंस इज लॉट ऑफ फाइल फॉर्मेट्स आर बीइंग क्रिएटेड नाउ डेज आई मे नॉट नो व्हाट इज दैट फाइल फॉर्मेट आई गो टू द नेट एंड फाइंड आउट हाउ टू कन्वर्ट दिस इनटू लेट्स से वेव जस्ट टाइप लेट्स से ए यू सी टू वेव यू गेट अ लॉट ऑफ हिट्स ऑफ व्हिच you can actually look for a converter some of them are actually online converters and then that converted format is what you can use and load it in uh, audacity software so audacity software will take dot uh, au format by default and it also takes wave format it also takes ogg format aur dusri cheez ye hai ki agar ग्रुप अगर रिकॉर्डिंग करता है तो टाइप इंडिविजुअली यानी हम, हमारा भी कई बार प्रॉब्लम आया था कि इंडिविजुअल टाइपिंग करना है या ग्रुप ने एक ही बार टाइप करना है यू हैव ए हाफ एन आवर इंटरव्यू द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द इंटरव्यू वाज अबाउट द एजुकेशन ऑफ दैट पर्सन सो क्रिएट वन ऑडियो फाइल फॉर एजुकेशन ऑफ दैट पर्सन फोर मिनट नेक्स्ट लेट से द पर्सन इज टॉकिंग अबाउट वॉट इज द काइंड ऑफ फूड दे वर ईटिंग एट दैट टाइम and what is the kind of food that they are eating about it today what we expect is that every student should be able to do one file so that 30 minute long thing should be separated out into let's say the pose eight students are there make eight clips so one person will be actually ending up transcribing only about education of that person another person would be doing only about the food they ate the other person is going to talk about the kind of transport changes that they have witnessed from their lifetime to this place so that every person has experience of transcribing as well as typing i hope one important point is becoming apparent between yesterday and today is that in a way we are putting a lot of places which are not prominent which are not well known onto the map by first physically mapping those places noting the resources that they have onto the open street map and now doing this oral history exercise we are you know bringing the history of those places into the common public gaze which is uh, which has not been done all these years and giving the students a kind of an experience in writing history in making history and in looking at each other's work also from that point of view <laughs>